Isn't this my lucky day? The computer and the pages. Welcome to Miss Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the Buffy the Vampire Slayer moments that shook the whole fandom. Wrong. I am Angel. At last. <laughs> Whether because they were unexpected, heartbreaking, surprising, disturbing, or more. Beware of major spoilers ahead. Number 10, The Reality of Normal Again. Do you know where you are, Buffy? Sunnydale. No, none of that's real, none of it. In Normal Again, Buffy goes back and forth between a mental health facility and Sunnydale as she tries to grapple with whether or not her life as a vampire slayer is real. Honey, can you hear me? In the end, she has to make a choice. Does she stay with her parents or return to her friends and sister Dawn to save the world? Things get a little scary for a minute, but she ultimately chooses to be a slayer, of course. Still, the episode itself has fans pondering what-if situations. I said it a second ago. You don't have a sister. Plus, watching Buffy travel between these two worlds herself not knowing which one is reality is incredibly jarring and has us questioning her surroundings too. They're not really your friends, Buffy. They're just tricks keeping you from getting healthy. You have to do whatever it takes to convince yourself of that Buffy. Number 9. Dawn's First Appearance Season 5 starts with a bang as we face the villainous Dracula. Do you know why you cannot resist? Because you're famous? Because you do not want to. But that's not the most unbelievable part. During the final moments of the episode, Buffy finds someone we've never seen before in her room. What are you doing here? Then, out of nowhere, her mom Joyce tells her to take her sister out with her. Buffy, if you're going out, why don't you take your sister? Mom! Huh? Sister? Buffy has a younger sibling and we're only finding out about her in season five? It's a reveal that truly leaves every first-time viewer baffled. Scroll through any forum or Reddit page about it, and you'll see folks talking about how they thought they had accidentally skipped a few episodes. What an introduction to Dawn! Number 8. Jonathan's School Troubles Jonathan ends up taking center stage in Season 3's Earshot. At this point in the story, Jonathan is basically just a regular dude battling his own inner demons. She doesn't even know I'm here. When the gang realizes someone is up to no good at the school, they try to stop a disaster from happening before it's too late. Buffy spots Jonathan holding a weapon and races to stop him, and he winds up revealing how much pain he's in. Stop doing that. Doing what? Stop saying my name like we're friends. In a surprising twist, it's later revealed that he wasn't the one trying to cause mass harm. Thankfully, Buffy's words stop him from hurting himself. Every single person down there is ignoring your pain because they're too busy with their own. Her speech and his confession are heartbreaking to watch. They'll definitely have you holding your breath the entire time. I... I, I wouldn't ever hurt anybody. Number 7. The Loss of Angel Soul You can't do it. You can't kill me. Buffy has a number of romantic prospects through the course of the show, but one of the earliest and most memorable is Vampire Angel. We watch their devotion to one another grow, and in the second season, they become intimate for the first time. Of course, it wouldn't be Buffy the Vampire Slayer if a moment of joy wasn't promptly followed by chaos and pain. Angel! She's not Angel anymore. Indeed, it isn't long before Angel turns into Angelus again, as he loses his soul and becomes Buffy's enemy. Angel, there must be some part of you inside that still remembers who you are. Dream on, schoolgirl. Your boyfriend is dead. It's a disconcerting moment that surely reminds many of us of our own first loves and heartbreak. Except, you know, hopefully those exes aren't evil vampires trying to eliminate us. Things are about to get very interesting. <laughs> Number 6. Tara's Final Moments Ask any Buffy fan about seeing Red. We dare you. Tara became a crucial part of the series, as both Willow's love and a compelling character in her own right. So we definitely didn't expect the creative team to brutally kill her off as they did here. She and Willow are back together and working things out. And then, just like that, she's fatally shot by Warren, who was attacking Buffy. <laughs> Think again. 
They definitely got the surprise element down. But at what cost? The loss profoundly changes Willow, causing her to become dark. We don't think any viewer was left unaffected either. Number five, Jenny's death. I was raised by the people that Angel hurt the most. My duty to them was the first thing I was ever taught. Giles being in a relationship is a relatively rare sight, and we love seeing him with Jenny Callender. So imagine the fandom's reaction when Angel, now Angelus, after having lost his soul, takes Jenny's life. Looks like I get to kill two birds, one stone. Teacher makes three. Why would he do that, you ask? Well, Jenny was trying to find a cure for him. Her death scene is pure evil, but the aftermath only adds to the traumatic nature of the ordeal. <laughs> Sorry, Jenny. This is where you get off. Angelus goes the extra mile, setting up an elaborate scene to make it look like Jenny planned a surprise for Giles. Needless to say, the latter gets the shock of his life when he realizes what's transpired. While we as viewers realize how vile Angelus truly is. <laughs> Number 4. Giles vs. Ben Can you move? Nina. I'm mad. She could've killed me. Giles is often a rather level-headed character, full of advice and ancient wisdom. After all, that's his role. But in the season five finale, we see an entirely different side of him. In the episode, Buffy takes Glory down. You can't kill me. No, my arm's not even tired yet. But there's the matter of Ben, who also shares his body with the villain. Unlike Buffy, Giles isn't willing to let Ben go, despite the latter's assurances that they won't be a problem. In order to protect the title character from having to deal with any glory-related residue, he ends Ben's life. She's a hero, you see. She's not like us. Us. <laughs> Our jaws are on the floor, but it just goes to show how multidimensional Giles is and the lengths he'll go to protect the Slayer. Number three, the bathroom scene. Are you hurt? You're not moving so well. Get out. Some storylines get burned into your brain and become impossible to forget, and not in a good way. This is one of those uncomfortable and harrowing for everyone even spikes after James Marsters. After fighting the trio, Buffy is recuperating in the bathroom. She's interrupted by Spike, who tries to force a confession of love out of her. But it doesn't stop there. Buffy is clear about not being interested. Let yourself love me. Ah. Ah. Buffy. Buffy. Spike, no! But he won't take no for an answer, taking advantage of her post-battle weakness and attacking her. Thankfully, she's ultimately able to fight him off, but to this day, many criticize the plotline for its disturbing nature. Marsters himself reveals that acting the scene out nearly broke him. Ask me again why I could never love you. Buffy, oh my god, I didn't... Because I stopped you! Number two, the ultimate sacrifice. Summer's blood. It's just like mine. She's me. In the fifth season's finale, Buffy has to save Dawn from being used in a ritual that would open a hellish dimension and make the world a horrific place. She shares some heart-wrenching final words with her sister, the contents of which we only hear after, before lunging into the dimension, knowing her death will close it. Buffy, you have to let me go. Blood starts it, and until the blood stops flowing, it'll never stop. She and Dawn are blood, after all. Everyone is a mess afterwards, including us. We knew Buffy would go to any lengths necessary to save her little sis's life, and the world. But we can't say we saw the self-sacrifice coming, or that we had the emotional tools to process it. Don, listen to me. Listen. I love you. I will always love you. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Xander saves Willow. The friendship is strong, but we were worried. I love you. Stop! <laughs> Faith takes Buffy's place. A body swap from hell. Oh, I wish those council guys would let me have an hour alone in the room with her. If I was larger and had grenades. 
I bet I know what Faith would say to that. Warren's death. A shocking display of Willow's evil capabilities. One tiny piece of metal destroys everything. <laughs> Spike's soul is restored, but it was far from easy. We will return your soul. <laughs> Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, Joyce's passing. Mom? What are you doing? If there's a Buffy episode that shook our worlds, shattered us, and had our heads spinning, it's definitely the body. Joyce Summers dies without demon intervention, which makes the whole thing that much more surreal. Buffy simply discovers her mom unresponsive in the most banal of settings. Your mother's dead. It looks like she did die a good while before you found her. There's nothing you could have done. She then has to deal with the aftermath, including telling Dawn what's occurred. There's no shortage of emotional moments through the runtime, with many fans singling out Anya's powerful speech. I knew her, and then she's, there's just a body, and I don't understand why she just can't get back in it and not be dead. Even Sarah Michelle Gellar admitted that the Discovery scene is extremely hard for her to watch. We can't say we blame her. We've never recovered from the shock. What's a Buffy moment that takes you by surprise every time? Let us know in the comments. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.